Hi guys, good morning. So today I'm going to be showing you everything that I wore my first five days of in-person school. I don't have in-person school every day. I only have classes Monday through Thursday and then on Fridays I don't have an in-person class. I typically do my online class that day or I do that over the weekend. But so my school schedule is a little bit interesting and I kind of didn't want to show any outfits that I wore when I had in-person school or just like work or something because I don't try very hard for those days to be honest. Honest. So I have been wearing a ton of cute outfits to school and I really wanted to show you all of them They're all kind of splayed all over my bed right now But so I recorded for the first five days that I had in-person school and what I wore those days And I'm also going to be showing you what I'm wearing today I don't have in-person school, but I do have to go on campus and I really enjoy this outfit So I think I'm going to be getting started with that before we get started Please give this video a big thumbs up and a comment if you like it So I know to make more content like this we also just hit 51 subscribers so thank you guys so much please subscribe if you like my content it would mean the absolute world to me and you are also able to turn on your post notifications which I've only ever like mentioned one other time because I feel like it's a little bit weird to think that people would turn on their post notifications for my videos but it's there if you want to use it and I would love it so for my first day of school, which was a Tuesday, I wore this outfit. <laughs> you can't see what it is, but I am very excited to show you. I kind of regret wearing it with these pants because I think I would wear it with the black jeans or the light wash jeans that I'll show later in this video if I could go over and do it. But these are my orangey brown corduroys from Urban Outfitters. They are a size 28 and they're a tiny bit big for me, which is actually interesting because their size 27 is too small. So I just kind of feel like there are no Urban outfitters pants that'll fit me but they're really cute and I love them I thrifted them for around like 25 to 30 dollars I think which is a little bit pricey but I thrifted them online so I was totally willing to pay that and they're high-waisted and I love them so I wore it with this Target top that I bought on a whim and was inspired by Charlie Ann to buy she wears this sometimes on her Instagram it is a size large and it has little buttons down the front and it's just very cute it's a crop top and I love it and I also wore this gray cardigan in case I got cold because a lot of the buildings are kind of cold and this one is from Target and I also thrifted it. It is a size medium and I love it. And then I wore my Birkenstocks which my mom bought for me as like a happy senior year gift at the beginning of the summer and I love them so much. I don't know what size they are because Birkenstock sizing is weird but I'm typically a size 8. They're super cute. I love the little buckles. I'm definitely going to have to buy a new pair next summer because I wore them pretty much every day all summer so they are a little bit gross. I did wear these with my belt but I really don't feel like putting it on these pants because just not in the mood but I think it, it looks very cute. I do like these pants and the shirt together but I kind of feel like it was a poor color choice. However I do like them and I just found money in these pants so that makes me feel a little bit more warm to this outfit but yeah, I do like it. Um, I don't think that I would pair this together again. I think I would wear these with my light wash jeans, but still cute. So on the second day of school, I wore this black t-shirt. It is from Target. I got it from my roommate and it's a size extra small, surprisingly. So it's kind of weird that it fits me. It's really cute and stretchy and ribbed and I love it. And I wore it with these mom jeans from Berkshire. I think that's how you pronounce it. They are a US size six and they're the ultra like high-waisted ones. So they go past my belly button and I love that. And then I wore this with my white Converse the high top ones and I think it's so cute. I love these shoes very much. By the way, I did wear almost all of the pants this week if not just all with a belt and it is my normal like brown belt that I thrifted like three years ago so I definitely need a new one but I just haven't found one that I like as much. All right so this is outfit number two. I think it's very cute. I'm very happy I have this shirt. Thank you so much Amelia for giving it to me. I think it's really cute. I love the sleeve length. I love the like ribbed material and I just think it fits really nice and again I love these jeans and the belt and I think this outfit is so cute I will definitely be wearing it in the future and it's one that makes me feel confident even though it's pretty simple and kind of low effort 
Moving on to the third day of school, I wore these jeans again because I wear jeans multiple times and I wore it with this shirt that is weirdly from Brandy Melville yet still like fits me. It has a flower on it and once again I thrifted this top. It has kind of an annoyingly big hole in the sleeve so I probably wore my cardigan over it but you don't notice it too much if I'm not like so. I wore that and I wore it with my Birkenstocks again. So very cute. Okay, so I really like this outfit. It makes me feel very confident. I love this shirt. I really, really wish that Brandy Melville would extend their sizing because I love their clothes, but thrifted this one and it's one of the ones that is like large enough that more people of different sizes can wear it. Again, as I mentioned, these jeans are from Bershka, so I really like these. I think they fit very nicely and I'm super happy I bought them. They were only like 32-ish dollars too, so so I feel like that's a great price. This was what I wore on my next day of school. I wore this gray uh, Topshop mock neck that has little like stitched sleeves so that they stay rolled, which I think is really cute. I thrifted this and I showed it in my last thrifting video. I will link it down below in case you would like to watch it. Mickey, stop it. I wore it with these jeans, which I'm wearing today. Otherwise, I would show you like a full what they look like off, but I will be showing that in the try on portion. So I figured it's fine. And they are from H&M and they're a size six as well. They're high waisted mom jeans, obviously. And then this top is a size US six as well. And then I really, really wanted to wear this outfit with these, but I had work afterwards. So I wore it with my white high tops again. So this is my day four outfit. I love it. This shirt was only like $3, which is super cheap, and I think it looks awesome, and I'm really happy I bought it. I also love these jeans. I'm surprised that they're from H&M and that they fit me this well. And then yesterday, which was my fifth day of school, I wore this skirt, which I again showed in one of my last thrift hauls. It is a midi skirt with a little slit and white flowers on it. I will link that video down below in case you want to watch it again. And it is from Hollister in a size large and it's ultra high rise. I love it very much. It's a little bit too big for me. I bought it because I know Hollister largely caters to like kids and teenagers. So I thought that a large would be what would fit me the best. However, it's a little bit too big and I was unable to return it. So I've just been pinning it. It. However, please make sure that when you're going to thrift stores that you're trying things on, don't do what I did and like not try that on and take it home and take it away from somebody who actually would have fit it without having to make any alteration. There's a huge trend right now of thin women like me going into thrift stores and taking things that should be for larger bodies and that really sucks. So let's stop doing that this year. So I wore this and then I wore it with my white Converse again because I have like a big blister on my foot and I felt like wearing the sandals was not a great idea. The Birkenstocks felt a little too casual and the white sandals would have hurt my feet slash I feel like they would have made me look a little bit too fancy for school and then okay so I think that this was my favorite outfit of the week. I love this skirt so much and I think the slit looks so good. It makes me feel very confident. As you can tell it is a little bit too big. Today I'm wearing this Wild Fable cardigan that's really cute. I thrifted it once again and I believe it's either a size medium or size large, I don't remember. I'm definitely going to put a camisole underneath it just to make it look a little bit more like appropriate because I have to go into my internship. They won't be able to tell that it's like kind of low cut because they won't be able to see anything. So pro tip. And then I'm wearing it with my black mom jeans again. I'm gonna have to censor my foot out. And then I will wear it with either my Birkenstocks or the white Converse. I haven't quite decided yet. This is my day six outfit. I'm super happy with it. I'm not wearing shoes currently because I don't wear shoes in the house. The undershirt was definitely a good idea because it just makes me feel a little bit more covered and a little bit more comfortable. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I feel like I really don't see a lot of curvy girl representation on YouTube even though I feel like slim thick bodies are definitely very trendy right now or just thick bodies in general. However, I would love to show that like you can still participate in trends and wear clothes that make you feel cute and confident even if you are in a curvier body because that caused me a ton of discomfort for a really long time. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more fashion content from me, please comment down below and let me know because I actually really enjoyed making this video and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.